Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna chat with you about traveling and homeschooling. Welcome back to my channel, Homeschool in Paradise. My name is Magali and welcome if you're new. So uh, in this channel, I chat everything about homeschooling. I am a mom of two kids. My kids are six and four and we live in the beautiful island of uh, Kauai in Hawaii. Uh, so in today's topic, it's gonna be all about traveling and homeschooling. It is part of a collaboration hosted by me. I'm excited. This is my first collab um, that I'm hosting ever. So I'm excited for this. If you are a homeschooling mom and you have a YouTube channel, and you would like to join any other uh, collabs that I'm gonna be joining make sure to leave a comment and we can chat or uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at homeschool in paradise and then uh, yeah so let's get uh, started about all uh, homeschool and uh, traveling so in this collab I wanted to keep it open for everything like it can be experiences that people have done with their kids pros and cons or um, uh, insight on it or maybe tips so it's really, really open uh, for myself I did a little list here so I wouldn't forget anything so I want to talk about five benefits that I found uh, for kids so uh, yeah let's get started so with um, each of the uh, five benefits that I'm gonna chat I'm gonna relate it to uh, the travel that we just did so it's been about um, three weeks that we came back from a month of traveling in Mexico. We were uh, visiting family, so my husband is from there and we went to uh, Monterrey that is below Texas. Uh, so a really big city that has about like five million people. <laughs> uh, it's a big change from uh, the island of Kauai. The kids have, uh, it was their first time going to Mexico. So it was really a nice experience. And then, um, I mean, our kids speak Spanish and uh, French. I'm from Canada, if you don't know, from the French part of Montreal. So we've been to Montreal last year, but it was the first time going to Mexico. Um, so the first thing uh, that I would say is uh, new experiences getting out of their comfort zone and things like that we are used to living in america north america in the united states and uh, mexico is not the same thing uh, so my husband's family is uh, they do live in a more poor place so cutting the water once a week, there's not a lot of water. You need to save the water. So when they cut the water for like 12 hours, then you can't like wash your hands or things like that. You have to save the water. So different like customs um, when getting in the home, we need to keep our shoes. We are in Hawaii and in Hawaii is the custom to always remove the shoes. So it was difficult for the kids. The kids are used to be barefoot all the time. Uh, so that's getting out of the comfort zone. And then uh, for going to the uh, bathroom, toilet paper <laughs> goes in the trash. So small little things that getting uh, more uh, used to it and then also for the safety. So the kids knew that anywhere we're walking, they had to hold hands. And then uh, at the park, I had to be close to them. Here I can read my book and then just have them play. So it's different things and it's good for them to see and experience this uh, firsthand. Okay, um, the second thing is gonna be, well, with this first one, but a new country. So um, the culture is different, so uh, different food, things like that. And then the currency, languages. So my kids speak Spanish, English, and French. So going in Mexico, um, at the airport, I was like, okay, well, now we arrive in Mexico. Now we only speak Spanish. So everyone that you uh, meet, you have to speak Spanish, and especially where, um, my husband's uh, families l live, so it's all Spanish. You're not gonna find anyone that speaks English. So it's just switching in their brain. Okay, now we're in Mexico. What is the flag? The currency, pesos. We need to switch to pesos and it's different. So like uh, the currency, it was uh, 17 pesos for a dollar. So obviously it's not the same. If you see like a hundred pesos over there, it's not as much as if it's a hundred dollar here in the United States. So just all the, the things that are, uh, that comes with different countries and traveling as well that it's really good for them with the, in the airplane and experiencing all that and learning as well. The new professions as well, example, when we're flying, it can be the pilot, okay, you can be doing that or the, the flight attendant. So instead of just talking about it uh, at home, they can see it uh, firsthand. 
Okay, so my number three is gonna be meeting with people that lives there. So obviously for us, we were visiting family. So over there, uh, since my um, husband's grandma lives there, we stayed with her and then we had family coming from another uh, um, state, Durango. And then uh, we had people coming from Texas. We had people that one of his aunt that lives there was always so many people. So uh, meeting people that live from there, obviously I understand that sometimes it's not possible but you can do exchanges so there's um, like you can do it like house sitting as well uh, and then that's gonna be in like to, to take care of the house or like pet sitting if you're looking at like to save money on that side as well but you can meet so many people as well you, there's group that you can find to meet people and then uh, for your kids if your kids are older um, you can find activities or like travel that are in group when I was 15 uh, I think I 14 or something like that when I was a teenager <laughs> in my Spanish uh, uh, class we actually went to Costa Rica I think for like five nights I don't remember really a long time ago it was fake but it was awesome so some nights we stayed in a um, hostel hotel something like that and then uh, some nights we stayed in a family so we exchanged and we um, we really really lived with them so that was a nice experiment there's so many um things for traveling they can be for youth you just have to look for them it can be in scuba diving um in like in sea like surfing so many things so it's just to uh find those things if your kids are old enough and they can travel uh by themselves and yes it's a little bit um nerve-wracking if you have older kids and then you're just letting them do it but as a person that traveled a lot of places it has built um, as who I am and I wouldn't change it for the wall so for myself I mean just uh, inside a little um, about my past all the countries that I visited it's been um, Cuba, Costa Rica, Mexico, Fiji, Jamaica and I mean now in Hawaii <laughs> so of course that there's so many more but uh, I think it's so great for um, making finding who you really are I know that when you reach that teenager stage is hard um, to find who you are but that's a great way to to learn and to appreciate more what you have <laughs> let's do number four so the anticipation of the trip so the anticipation of the trip so for us the kids knew that we were gonna go to mexico so we were saving money for that the kids um especially my son he made tortillas he sold them twice he was doing his chores he actually saved 200 dollars us to go to mexico which is a lot of money for mexico and he was proud and over there he was like yes i have my money i have in my wallet and then he was just being able to save it to buy what he wants and then my daughter didn't have as much so we're like okay well next time when we go traveling then try to save uh, more money to have it so you can spend it but if it's all there's other options that you can do if you don't have all the money um to for your kids it can be fundraiser it's just good to have goals you can work extra and then the kids as well they can earn uh working extra i mean my son is six and he raised 200 dollars, so every kid can do it we can just give the opportunity to find that and it's good um to work for a goal to have as a family and the kids are looking for it for the next travel they're asking us when are we going back to mexico when are we going back to canada and i would love to go to other countries as well to visit number five is going to be visiting new places so yes i talked a little bit about the custom the food but it's good for the taste bud to see different kind of food and then um, to do different activities that maybe where you live it's not possible for you to do so for us we live on a small island so there's not a lot of things to do so in mexico we had the chance to go to the movie theater to the mall we don't have a mall here i mean not like big like over there <laughs> and then we went to a soccer game my husband and my son went to a second one and then those big markets that you have that you can buy so many things so uh, we went to those things and then just walking to like diff we went to a museum science museum that is it was an old it's an old uh, furnace and we went all the way to the top and see the city so uh, we don't really have museum like that where we live and then uh, what else did we do um, 
just going to visit different parts of the city and seeing how they live and then the construction of the buildings and things like that so visiting new places i really, really love that and then it, when you come back home appreciating what you have <laughs> so i'm so appreciative of what we have and then the kids as well can see and um for myself when i started traveling i was really picky as a <laughs> as a young adult and then I started traveling to all these places and I learned I had to eat all these food that I was not used to it. and then when I came back home I was so much more appreciative of what I have and the food that I can have so um, those are all the things the benefits that I thought it was really awesome for kids I know there's a lot more I don't want to make a too long video but I just wanted to uh, share with you some of the benefits and related to our travel that we just did in Mexico um, I think that traveling is really awesome and then don't limit yourself even if you have younger kids it's really um, just don't limit yourself it's <laughs> really, really great for um, for the kids and then for yourself and then for us it was a family time just to be together because I work a lot and my husband as well work a lot and then we homeschool and we do we're so busy but it's good to um, really disconnect and then just be together and uh, take your pause for homeschooling when uh, we're coming back I was definitely ready to go back into our routine on things that we do for our homeschool um, but uh, yeah uh, some I thought about bringing some work that we do, um, but I decided not to. At one point, I, I wish that I, we would have just got some uh, more activities because at one point, I think the kids were getting bored a little bit because uh, where we were, but it's uh, it was okay. And it was just spending more time as uh, for visiting family and exploring another country. And our, the kids, I mean, we love learning about different countries. And then in our homeschool, um, we always uh, learn about the flags and then where is the country and the map and things like that. So it's just solidifying um, one more country and things that we can learn about it. So this was the first uh, collab that I was hosting. Uh, so traveling and homeschooling, make sure to go check out the playlist below. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of other uh, YouTube's uh, homeschool mamas that are going to be sharing their uh, traveling and homeschooling tips or uh, anything related to that. So make sure to go check them out because uh, I'm excited to see what is every everything that what is everyone uh, going to be talking about it? So um, yeah, and then except that, I would love to know about you if you go traveling with your kids, if you have any plans or what is holding you back maybe to be uh, traveling with your kids. I know it can be <laughs> treading. So <laughs> just inside thing, when we came back, all the family was sick pretty much. Well, my son got sick the last week and then my husband and then when we we're coming back, my daughter was sick. So on the way back, flying she threw up twice in the flight um but seven hour flight from i think it was from arizona to hawaii so that was uh difficult but hey check we did it <laughs> and then i was the only one that didn't really get sick i had to hold everyone together <laughs> so um yeah so i would love to know just a little bit about you and then make sure to give it a thumbs up to this video and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye no hubiera pensado que yo me iba.